Okay guys, I have been doing videos to help you create a healthy and an organized home. I've been going through each room of my home and doing deep cleaning, decluttering, organizing, getting rid of things that we don't need anymore, make space for the things that bring us joy, that we do love and need and use. However, <laughs> there's one room in my home that I have really been neglecting and I haven't actually been getting rid of the things that we don't need and use and love anymore. Those things that I've decluttered, I've gotten out of the rooms, but I haven't gotten rid of completely. I haven't taken things to Goodwill. I haven't sold things. Instead, I've been piling them up in my attic. Do you guys see that? Do you see how messy it is in here? I have totally been neglecting my attic for the past year and it is out of control. So in this video, I am going to tackle my attic organization. And I can tell you right now, I am probably not getting it all done today. And that's okay. I am not stressing myself out. I'm not going to cause health problems by getting way stressed out. I'm not going to try to get this all done in one day. I am going to do what I can with the time that I have. So I have a good three hours today-ish. So I'm going to do as much as I can in that time. Like I said, I've been decluttering in every room of my home. I have not gotten rid of that stuff though. I have been taking it up here to the attic. And sometimes like when my boys clothes no longer fit them, I'll just tell them like, okay, go take it up to the attic. We'll give it away to another little boy that it does fit. And so they've just been opening our attic door here and just throwing things on the floor. It's crazy. This is crazy, y'all. This is not, this is not like me. <laughs> I love organizing, but it's like one of those things, it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't see this every day. And so I just kind of forget about it. So I'm not forgetting about this anymore. We are getting this done. So I'm going to start organizing. I'm gonna share tips, hopefully provide you with some motivation and some inspiration so you can go tackle your attic organization. Hopefully yours isn't as bad as mine is right now, but if it is, that's okay. Just get to it. Just tackle a little bit at a time as you have the time and it'll get there. It'll get done. <laughs> You can do it. All right, so let's get going. So let's just take a look in the attic. Here we go. You can hardly even walk because there's stuff everywhere. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Okay, so let me show you what we have here. So this is our wrapping station, wrapping paper and bags and stuff like that. Not a whole lot of work needs to be done there, but I'm gonna straighten all that out. And then over here we have stroller that we no longer use at all. Our boys are eight and five. We don't need a stroller. That needs to go. We have all of our suitcases and duffel bags and things. We don't need this money. We have four people in our family. We do not need this many suitcases. We're gonna get rid of some of those. Here we have clothes that my oldest son has grown out of that we're saving for my youngest son. So I do need to keep those. Here we have my husband's like hunting gear and camping gear, Christmas snowman, tons of baby stuff. Guys, my youngest is five years old. Why do I still have tons of baby stuff? I don't know. I'm not planning on having another baby. I was holding on to baby stuff just in case, but we don't have baby fever. I don't think we're having another one, so we're gonna get rid of some stuff. If we end up getting pregnant again, we'll get some new stuff, but not nearly as much as we had for our first two. Babies do not need all that stuff. I was a full-time elementary teacher. I quit two years ago to stay home with my own kids and homeschool them, but I still have tons of teacher stuff. 
but I don't mean. Do I think I'm going back to full-time teaching? No, not at this point anyways. So that stuff, a lot of it needs to go. Some of it I'll keep and use for homeschooling, but definitely not all of it. Here we have some memory boxes. Each of us has one. I have two or three. Ooh, three memory boxes for me in the wedding memory box. Each of the boys have one. My husband has one. So I probably need to get rid of some memory stuff. Don't need to keep all the memories. Have pictures. Okay, here we have our Christmas tree. I need to figure out how to make it go down and be smaller so it actually fits in the box there. Okay, let me go around all this crap in the middle. Okay, more and more baby clothes, toddler clothes, toddler toys. This is where all just the throwing and dumping started. Lots and lots of clothes that no longer fit us. We no longer wear toys the boys no longer play with. Books they no longer are keeping just thrown in here. Over on that side, we have decor, Christmas decor, Thanksgiving decor, fall decor. Some of my son's school papers that he just set there for some reason. Who knows? Over here, we have more home decor, like not seasonal. Yeah, so it's crazy. It's a mess in there. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm doing in my attic organization is clearing all this clutter in the middle. In the middle aisle of my attic is the stuff that I know for sure that we're getting rid of. This is stuff I've been putting up there for the past probably two years. I usually organize it every year, but last year I had some health problems and was feeling super fatigued and did not get to my attic organization. And so we've been piling all of our stuff to get rid of up in the middle aisle of our attic for now until we do something with Look it. Look at all this stuff. This is not even all of it. This is maybe half of the clutter we are getting rid of. I have to figure out what to do with it. And so I know for sure all of that is going. So I am starting by getting all of that out of the attic, clearing the space so that I'm actually able to organize what we are keeping. There will be more as I'm going through the stuff on the outer edges of the attic that we'll be getting rid of also. I'll go through our Christmas decorations and see if there's any that I wanna get rid of. My husband's gonna go through his hunting stuff, see if there's anything in there that he doesn't need or use anymore. So we'll probably have more clutter to clear, but the first thing I'm doing is getting rid of the clutter that I know for sure we're getting rid of, getting that out of there so I have room to actually see what we have in there, what I need to organize. For now, I'm putting all of this stuff in our bonus room and I will deal with it later. Right now, I'm just focused on the attic, organizing the attic. Actually getting rid of that stuff will be coming up. That will be a separate video. So our plan is that we're gonna have a yard sale the next Saturday possible that my husband has off work and we're both home and we're gonna just try to sell as much as we can and then whatever we don't sell I'm probably gonna take to Goodwill if there's any like more high value items then I'll try to list them on like Poshmark or Facebook marketplace and I'll probably give them a few weeks and if they don't sell after a few weeks then I'm just gonna take them to Goodwill because I just want this stuff out of here okay so the attic is cleared out as you can see it looks a whole whole lot better we got rid of all didn't get rid of we cleared out all that clutter that was all down the middle there it is doo -doo -doo, all in the bonus room here so another project another day will be to have a garage sale take it to goodwill something get it out of the house clear that cut letter for good but today we are dealing with the attic so we're gonna first start by organizing the gift wrapping station here i did sweep the whole floor in here and i'll sweep again as i do like each section so whenever i organize a room i like to go one section at a time so i'm starting with the gift wrapping station i'll move that all out of the way 
sweep it again, declutter anything that's raggedy, not looking good, and then organize, put everything back nicely. And then same thing with our luggage. I'll move it out of the way, sweep it well, declutter, get rid of any bags we're not keeping, and then organize the ones that we are keeping nicely. Let's get started clearing the clutter and organizing the gift wrapping station. I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders Some close stuff, that's what I told ya Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back no going back, there's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over there I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, you yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights So I'm starting by organizing my gift bags and I have them in this purple container and I started by dumping all of them out onto the floor. Gotta start with a clear space and then I'm going through and I'm putting them in order from tallest to shortest and I'm going to be standing them upright in this container and I'm making sure that I'm only putting away the bags that I will use that are in good condition that are like still kind of stylish and that we would use if they're kind of ugly or you know outdated then we are tossing them or if they have been used too much and they're showing too much wear we're tossing them and I had my son Chase here with me and he was definitely helping me he was handing me bags to put away and he was helping me decide which ones were ugly and which ones he liked and he would like to have his birthday presents in so that was nice get your kids involved if you can we had tons of baby shower bags Bags. Like I said, my youngest is five years old and I still have tons of bags from his and my oldest son's baby showers. And I don't go to lots of baby showers. It's definitely time to get rid of some of these baby shower bags. So I did choose a lot to get rid of. I kept a few, but I got rid of a lot of gift bags that I just don't think I'm gonna be using. And then next I'm going through this bin here that has all of our tissue paper and bows and ribbons and gift tags. And again, I'm starting by getting everything out. Always start with a clear space. And then I'm putting all the bows back in this clear container. I'm only putting away the ones that are in good condition if they've been used too many times and kind of are unraveling or they're just really wrinkled, I am tossing them. And if you're on a budget or you like to watch, you know, how much you're spending around the holidays, then I would definitely save your bows because, you know, bows and wrapping paper, tissue paper, all that stuff adds up and it gets really expensive. And so I do save my bows. I just use a piece of scotch tape, put on the bottom and stick it on the present and it works just as well. Same thing with tissue paper. I for sure use tissue paper more than once. Every time after a birthday party or whatever, I 
fold it up and put it away up here in my gift wrapping station. If it has tears in it or if it's super wrinkly, then I don't keep it. But if it's in good condition, I will use it again. So I'm going through my tissue paper now and I'm folding them neatly and I'm putting them in order by color to help make it easier to find the color I need when I'm wrapping a gift. And again, if they're ripped, if they're wrinkly, if they're ugly, if it's not a color that I use very often, then I am throwing it away. Okay, the gift wrapping station is complete. It is organized. So on with the rest of the attic organization a little later. <laughs> So I might wrap presents right here for just like one present, like a gift bag and paper. Obviously I can't really wrap presents that need wrapping paper here. Not enough room for that, but I have all the stuff in containers. So it's really easy to just grab a container and go out into the bonus room here when it's not covered in stuff <laughs> and wrap my presents. All right, so that's it for that. On to the next section. Okay, so it is the next day now. I did not get as much done the first day as I had hoped to, but that's okay. I used the time that I had to do as much as I could. And now I am moving on to the luggage section. And you'll see that I had kind of a hard time with this section just because I wanted to do something different. All of our duffel bags were leaning against the suitcases that we have. And so if we were to, you know, take the suitcase out and use it, all the duffel bags would fall down. Plus, when we're packing, I usually have my boys go up, tell them, you know, what duffel bags to get or whatever, and they get them. Or when we're done, when we're unpacking, I'll send them up to the attic to put our duffel bags away and they just kind of throw them here on the floor. So I wanted a better system to like keep them more organized and be able to quickly find the ones that we need and not have them just be thrown or laying on the ground. So I was hammering some nails in the plywood here. And my husband was actually working outside and he heard me hammering away in the attic and he came up to help me and he had this great idea that you will see later on to organize it better. Over here we have all of our camping stuff, which we don't have a whole, whole lot, but we have our Mine and my husband's sleeping bags. My boys have their sleeping bags in their rooms because they camp out in their room sometimes. And then we have the rest of our camping stuff there. Here we have some of my husband's hunting stuff, which I'm gonna have him actually go through that. And he has more hunting stuff downstairs. He has his hunting clothes downstairs. Right here is just like accessories, I guess. And then he has a little stool to sit on. He has his tree stand and his bow, but I'm gonna have him go through that later and see if there's anything that we can get rid of. So I cleared this space. So I'm going to actually put all of our Christmas decorations here just because we have this and I want it to be at the very end here in this corner instead of up at the front where our Christmas decorations are now. So I'm going to go through this stuff and organize it better and move it to that corner. Let's get to it. I'm done living life with the lights out, die with my own doubts.
And this is where my husband came to the rescue with a random piece of wood. I don't even know where he got this piece of wood from, but he came up to the attic with it and screwed it onto the rafters and nailed some nails into it to hang all of our duffel bags. So that made it a whole lot easier to organize them, get them off the floor. That way we have more space on the floor and we're able to see clearly each of our duffel bags and get the ones that we want to use. And then while he was up there seeing what I was doing, he started to help with organizing his hunting stuff. He went through his hunting box and brought some of his hunting stuff that he had downstairs in our bedroom and brought them up and added them to the box. And now that that's done, I am moving back over to the Christmas decorations. We have several of these big totes to store our Christmas decorations in. So I was just going through and organizing them better. In each box, I was looking through and seeing if there were any decorations that we don't use that are not in great condition, that are like old and I don't wanna use anymore. And so I was setting those aside and then making sure I had like items in each box. So I made one box be dedicated to greenery, garland, wreaths, things like that. One box was just for Christmas tree decorations. One box was for outdoor lights and decorations. One box is for our little Christmas village, the houses in the little shops and the church and things like that. And then we had another box with other random decorations that go around the house. And then there were a few things left over that wouldn't fit in any of the boxes. So I had this big Christmassy bag that I stored like the bigger items that we use in the house. So this side of the attic is complete. 
We have these two containers that we had in the garage and we brought them up here because these we use for traveling. My husband has a pickup truck and when we travel in his truck, we use these to put our luggage in and at Christmas time we put our Christmas presents in, whatever else we're traveling with we put in there and put them in the bed of the pickup truck just in case it rains to protect our stuff. And so we put them with our luggage. We have a wrapping station, our luggage station. We have our camping stuff, hunting stuff, and all of our Christmas decorations. So that side of the attic is complete. In my next video, we're gonna tackle the other side. So I still have all this stuff my teaching stuff, memory boxes, all this stuff. And we still need to actually get rid of all this stuff that I piled into the bonus room. It's gotta get out of here. So that will be coming up in my next video. So make sure you guys stick around, come back for that video next week. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and be a part of my community here and hit the bell button so that you are notified when I come out with the next video. All right guys, from my home to yours, see you next time.